Daylight savings time was first used in the United States during World War I and implemented again in 1942, approximately six weeks after the attack on Pearl Harbor. The goal was to save fuel and better utilize resources for the civilian populace. Along with victory gardens and other various resource drives during that time period, daylight savings was considered a form of wartime savings. Daylight savings time was repealed in 1945 but remained in place in individual states until 1966 when Congress legislated a permanent daylight savings time for 48 states of the Union. Good evening. Do I need to start in the corner or is that just coming after? Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, yeah. Daylight savings. How's everybody doing with daylight savings? I still can't wake up. I'm still sleeping in every morning. Uh, probably be like that for another week. So I thought it'd be interesting to in the corner all night. Okay, so so it's like one of your live streams then. Perfect. Um, I thought it'd be fun to talk about daylight savings because it might be going away. I don't know how any of you feel about it. Personally, I'm done with it. I would be fine if it's done. Um, so I thought I'd bring up some interesting facts about it because it may be the last time that it's happening. Cookie's all for ending it. Yeah, I agree with you, Cookie. I'm, I'm done with it as well. Uh, so I've been working 23-7 trying to come up with a list for you guys. Oops. Wait, do I have do I have that in here? I do too, don't I? Hey, there you go. Okay, I like my one. What's up, Mona? All right. So I thought I'd come up with a few interesting facts about it because I like facts and that is what the title says. So yeah, definitely more accidents. You're right about that, Fatima. Uh, it, what did they say? It's a 6% um, increase in fatal car accidents and uh, I believe a 10% increase in workplace accidents. So um, the only accident I had on Monday was I fell asleep. So. <clears throat> hey Jim, hey Daryl, thanks for joining. So um, I think the thing I hate the most about daylight savings time is staying up till two o'clock to set all the clocks. Uh, I usually go to bed before that, but anyway. Um, Gillen likes daylight savings time though because it's the only time I can last more than an hour in the bedroom. 61 minutes to be precise. All right, so let's look at some facts. A big misconception is that daylight savings was invented by Ben Franklin. Um, ben Franklin did not invent it. He suggested that uh, Parisians wake up earlier to save money on lamp oil and candles uh, in an essay published in the Journal de Paris in 1784. Well, I don't need more than that, Daryl. I have five kids. All right. Uh, another misconception is that um, they started doing daylight savings to benefit the farmers. Uh, but the agriculture industry lobbied against daylight savings because of when it was introduced in the States because uh, it, it doesn't help them at all. Dairy cows expect to be milked at the same hour every day because cows can't see the clock. So, are you guys all about canceling daylight savings? Anybody still like daylight savings? Does anybody know what daylight savings is? Move. So daylight saving, yeah, Daryl's for canceling it too. Daylight saving, savings does not take place everywhere. And interestingly enough, it does not take place in Arizona. So I'm sure Fatima has some with her ties to Arizona that she must have some input. Yeah, why is it part of the energy bill, right, Cookie? Yeah. Uh, the first serious case for daylight saving, savings came with a peculiar place while working at the post office. An entomologist who did most of his insect hun hunting at night soon became frustrated with how early the sun set during the summer months. He reasoned by springing the clocks forward, it would allow more daylight for bug collecting. Uh, the clocks could be switched back in winter when people and bugs were less likely to be found outdoors. 
and he was one of the biggest proponents of it. So, yeah, exactly. Arizona gave the finger to it, and that, yeah, and and we're going to get to that because there's actually an interesting fact about Arizona uh, and daylight savings times. Not just that they don't participate. Um, as you saw in the video at the beginning, daylight savings started um, around wartime, and it was ended around wartime, but it was brought back in the 70s. Um, the oil embargo of 1973 had kicked off a nationwide energy crisis, and the government was looking for ways to reduce public consumption. Daylight savings time was imposed in the beginning of 1974 to save energy in the winter months. So there you go. It is, it is about saving energy, for sure. Um, yeah, and that's the point that I'm getting to, Fatima, is what happens on the reservations of Arizona, because there are actually three different situations in Arizona. And maybe I'll do that one first. I'll do that one now, because I know that you have to leave. Jim says that it's stupid. It was instituted in earnest in World War II to provide more daylight during the working hours. I know they don't do it in Indiana because they are too close to the central time zone. I didn't know that. I didn't see that in, in when I was looking into this. Uh, where is... Where is... Okay, so yeah. Um, it is not a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, 71 countries observed daylight savings time nationwide uh, or in certain regions. Most African and Asian countries, including India, China, and Japan, skipped the clock change altogether. And not all states practice daylight savings time. Hawaii and Arizona are on permanent standard time, as are Guam, American Samoa, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. I guess they were like, no, nah, we're not changing the microwave twice a year. Hi, Madonna. Yeah, Saskatchewan doesn't do it either. They're smarter than the rest of us, I guess. Um, but within Arizona, the Navajo Nation does not observe the or does observe the change. So there's a little square in Arizona that does do the change, even though the rest of Arizona does not. Interestingly enough, um, the Hopi Reservation, which is fully located inside the Navajo Nation, does observe it or does not observe it. So the Hopi Nation within the Navajo Nation is like the rest of Arizona, and they don't observe it. It's only the Navajo Nation that does. So they're like a little a little daylight savings donut going on in the middle of Arizona. Uh, Canada has used daylight savings the longest at 111 years, and the U.S. has used it for 106 years. So I guess blame it on us. Jim sees the first problem. Being when it when it changes, it's dark when the kids are walking to school. Yeah, I mean, there's arguments for and there's arguments against, right? Um, you know, I'm 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 not upset that it was late till seven o'clock tonight. Um, yeah, blame Canada. That's right. That's right. It is our fault. Uh, interestingly enough, the the gentleman who really brought all of this to light during the war uh, was the god grandfather of. Uh, can't remember his name now, the lead singer of Coldplay. Uh, his grandfather is the one who introduced daylight savings to legislature in Britain. So there you go. Uh, despite daylight savings time origin as an energy saving strategy, research suggests it might actually be hurting the cause. A 2008 study conducted in Indiana found that the statewide implementation of daylight savings two years earlier had boosted overall energy consumption by 1%. While it's true that changing clocks can save residents money on lighting, the cost of heating and air, air conditioning tend to go up. The extra hour of daylight is only beneficial when people are willing to go outside and enjoy it. And we all know that people do not go outside and enjoy it. Yes, Tanya. Chris Martin, thank you. So I know like going to work now in the dark. My eyes aren't ready for 7 a.m. at 7 a.m. for sun. My eyes aren't ready at 7 a.m. for anything. Although usually I'm making lunches and watching Robert. But anyway. In Canada, the Yukon, most of Saskatchewan, and some locations in Quebec, Southampton Island, which is up in Hudson Bay, up near the Arctic Circle, 
Uh, and some areas in British Columbia do not use daylight savings and stay on standard time all year. <clears throat> and it just, it should be consistent. If there are places that are not doing it, then nobody should be doing it as far as I'm concerned. But um, it just makes things up. They were saying the airline industry spends $147 million a year rescheduling flights because of the time changes, um, trying to line everything up. And if they're flying to someplace that doesn't do it, uh, it really screws things up. It's, it's not, it's not great. Yeah, it's dark at 4 a.m., Cookie. That's why I'm still sleeping. Are you up at 4 a.m.? Why are you up at 4 a.m.? I've gone to bed at 4 a.m., but I don't think I've ever gotten up at 4 a.m. Uh, in the United States, daylight savings starts on the second Sunday of March and ends on the first Sunday in November, but that wasn't always the case. Prior to the Energy Policy Act of 2005, which went into effect in 2007, daylight savings times was pre previously observed from early April to late October. And it was the, uh, the, the Energy Commission that they keep pushing it further and further out. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's dark. It's dark at four, for sure. <clears throat> Fatima has to read the manual to change the clock in her car. I, I in in Given's car, I changed it today because it's the first time I've been in. It's just one button. It's not bad when you're when you're pushing it ahead because you just press it once. But if in the fall you have to press it thirteen times to get it. To, or I guess 11 times to go back the hour. Oh, hi, Bree. Thanks for coming out. Is anybody taking attendance? We should probably put Bree in the corner. Sonia's truck does it automatically. Well, that's kind of cool. My truck's a 2018, and I have to go into the settings, and I have to find the, the clock and, uh, and do it that way. Mine is definitely not automatic, and it is definitely not easy to, to do, but it's... Baby is gone. So either Bree has done babysitting for the day or she's had a miscarriage. It trucks a 2018 and does it automatically. That's pretty cool. Uh, it has, daylight savings has an impact on your health. Losing an hour of sleep each March can take a serious toll on your well-being. The shift to daylight savings has been linked to an uptick in heart attacks, strokes, traffic, fatalities, and workplace injuries, and some sleep experts have called for an end to spring and forward altogether. Maybe Bree thought that this was on an hour later. Maybe that's what it is. Jim is breaking out the wine. I had enough to drink for dinner. I don't know if you can die. I may or may not have had drinks with dinner. But now I'm having tea, so. Bree's busy. She's busy having a baby. Oh, God, the dog. You can see him. Right. Where is he? Right there. Hi, Fatima. Thanks for hanging out. And Kale does not rule. Tea makes you pee. Well, Brie, I'm kind of at the age where everything makes me pee, so. Carol's truck is 20-something. Too many updates. My brother-in-law drives a uh, Toyota Tacoma, and I believe it's a 2004. And the thing, I think it's got 400,000 kilometers, which is, what, miles? It would be about uh, 250,000 miles, and it just never stops. Um, Sam, our middle son, just bought a, what did he get? He bought a Toyota. He also bought a 2004 sitting in the driveway with with the 18 other cars that we have here. No, Brie, my wife's not here. But you still need to behave. 
it's a brute P rhyme. Very nice. All right, so continuing on with our list. In 1916, Germany became the first country to officially adopt daylight savings time. It was born out of an effort to conserve coal during World War I, and Britain, along with many other European nations, was quick to follow the Germans' lead. It wasn't until 1918 that the time change spread to the U.S. A year after entering the war, America began, America began practicing daylight savings as an electricity-saving measure. See, the drinks are starting to come out. That's good. You know, Jim, Gord is not unsupervised. Gord is the one who supervises. I think we all know this. Evil Brie is more fun. Mona was distracted by B. Is that is that Brie or you were distracted by P? Yes, I have to supervise myself. Yeah, I guess I guess you've met my wife, Jim. Okay. Mona is back from the north. How how can do you even know where that is, Mona? Where did you go that you knew you were north? Right? Right, Sonia? Where is north and Mona's house? Yeah, I can self-supervise cookie. I didn't say it was it turned out well, but I can do it. B is her grandson. Oh. Well, that's cool. Be distracted. Are you babysitting, Mona? All right. And a last fact. Mona can be north in the house. Maybe her bathroom. Wanker is the word of the day. Just go to sleep. No worries on north. Why is wanker always the word of the day? Is there no other words of the day? If uh, if Mona comes to M23, we're going to have a compass class. So maybe we can. Right, Daryl? There it is. It only took, what well, we've been, we're 20 minutes in before the wanker came out. Right, Sonia? What's with all the caps? Just likes to yell at us. All right, and for our final fact, I can go up there, I don't know that. Uh, different countries use different terms for daylight savings time. Um, when clocks are moved an hour ahead in the UK, it's called British summertime. I'm sure we could verify that with Rob. Uh, when they go back, uh, UK is on Greenwich mean, mean time. Europe uses Western European summertime, Central European summertime, and Eastern European summertime. In Ireland, there is an Irish standard time. So there you go. A wanker map. Bob is not here to say boobs. But Cookie is. Look at that. We're not going back to Speedo. Are we? Hold on. See, I didn't know that this muted my... So there we go. There's our speedo. Wanker map. Is that a map with all the wankers? Oh, Jim, did you miss the speedo last week? That's true. Eh? Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I dug out one of my old speedo pictures. Very accurate. doesn't look photoshopped at all
I didn't I didn't want Daryl to feel out of place. Yes, I know you had a meeting last week. You've had lots of meetings. Actually, no, it was the tuxedo was Friday night that we missed. I'm trying to trying to talk Sonia into showing you in your tuxedo, but we missed it. Yeah, it's it's the hairy chest, right? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that that's not me because if that was me, if I was wearing a speedo, you wouldn't be able to see it. So. Maybe he does need to supervise this chat. Maybe somebody does. I don't know. Never know what's going to happen. Well, I thought what I'd like to do, if anybody is interested, because I do like... Jim wears a tux a lot. I haven't worn a tux since my wedding, and before that was my prom. Although I did wear a tie to work every day for 30 years, and I, I stopped doing that. And for the last year or two that I was wearing ties, I used to wear a bow tie. Oh God, Bree wants to supervise. Yeah, fat boys can wear Speedos, Daryl, but you can't see them. So there's really not much point. Really, Mona? Really? This is for you, Mona. Wow. Seems that it's already gone south. Oh yeah, I forgot I can put the chat on 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 screen too, can I? I still have to get used to. Uh, I still need to get used to doing everything at the same time. Well, you can't ask for the air horn, Sonia. It doesn't work like that. You have to earn the air horn. I guess this can be, be Bree's official sound. really long maybe maybe we should do clap too clap one's a little too long for me oh there goes the dog again um right don't encourage her at all there you go all right uh i thought something that might be fun to do is um during the live streams um, is to have some random thoughts because I think random thoughts are funny. Some of them are mine. Some of them were, oh, cookie. Cookie, we're, no, <laughs> we're not going, we're not going motorboating. No. Anyways, I thought it would be fun to do random facts, random thoughts. Some of them are mine, some of them are not. Um, and just see what people think of some of these. Um, so here we go. So I got 10 random thoughts that we're going to. Yeah, Bree's good for random thoughts. It's walking on hard stuff. On soft stuff is harder than walking on hard stuff. Hey, Anthony, thanks for joining in. You're gonna you're gonna unfriend Sonia. Yeah, lots of yelling. My goodness. Mona's is very feisty. It was her live stream. I, I I watched your live stream this morning, Mona, and it was your your canvas was blank and Doris was almost finished. And then I turned around to do something, and when I turned back, your painting was almost done. How, did, how does that work? All right, so let's look at some random thoughts. 
technically, the game Simon says doesn't end until Simon says the game is over. So whoever played Simon says is probably still playing. I've never played where Simon says to stop playing. Why is everybody unfriending Sonia? What did you do? Right? She could never find Sonia. Button is in the north and Sonia is in the east. Sonia is naughty. Don't put her in the corner. The snacks are pretty good. There's no kale. Because Fatima's not here. Random thought number two. The job of a therapist is for you to eventually stop paying them. Deep thoughts. Sonia can't get rid of Bree. It's like Brokeback Mountain or something going on here. Gord, I'm going to let you think about that before I say anything. Let me think about what, Cookie? My random thought? What I just said about directions, about east-west. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything about that. I'm not going to say anything about that. This is a family channel. That's like life insurance. You are betting you are going to die, and the insurance company is betting you will live. Weird. That is weird. <clears throat> Mona says that's left, right, east, west. I guess it depends on which direction you're standing. Could be east, west. It could be north, south. It could be to the northeast. Had to do with North being up. Well, apparently North has seen the little blue pills. All right. Random thought number three. No one will ever learn the greatest secret in history. Because then it wouldn't be the greatest secret if somebody knew what it was. Peak to peak. I've been on the peak to peak gondola. There was no motorboating involved. Right, Mona? Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, my random thoughts are not as profound as Breeze. That is for sure. My random thoughts are not as randomly thought as Bree's random thoughts are thought randomly. That makes sense. I'm not, I'm not going there. I don't know what the fox says. I can't make that sound. Nor do I want to. I had to hear it enough with my kids. All right. Random thought number four, oxygen may have a smell and humans just don't have a receptor for it. It's possible. Why do they call it evaporated milk if there's still something in the can? And Mona thinks the fox says, wanker do, wanker do. 
that's what Moss saying here. How's that? That works. Oh my goodness. All right. Random thought number five, the object of golf is to play the least amount of golf. Not a fan of golf, but I have played and I'm not very good at it. And I honestly believe that the only reason it's called golf is because the F word was already taken, but that's just me. Random thought number six, technically every mirror you buy in a store is used. Cookie, what is a do whack a do whack a do? Right, who can get the little ball in the hole? No, Mona, it's not the least amount of holes, it's the least amount of strokes. Roger Miller's song, Wackadoo Wackadoo. Yeah, thrift, thrift stores should not be selling used underwear. I don't know what kind of thrift stores they have in BC, Daryl. And is having all kinds of mirrors pop up in your conversation. Why are you dying, Brie? You got me to say strokes. You got me to say wanker. I think that's worse. Do like a do. Really, Brie? That's where we're going tonight. That's where we're going. Oh, I caught it now, Cookie. But yeah, I it, she had to hit me over the head with it. Just don't combine wanker with the S word. Wow. I most certainly will not. Yeah, we're gonna definitely going south, son. All right, moving right along. Random thought from Tanya. Someone said today, what if mirrors were gateways to the other paranormal? Wait, the other paranormal? Does that mean this is paranormal? So when you look in the mirror, are you are you looking at yourself in the paranormal or is it a reflection of your own paranormal or is it a gate to somewhere else somebody's been watching too much stranger things i think you know what cookie i've been in enough lives with you people to uh my expectations are are set fairly well Sonia and Tanya are the only mods tonight. There are other mods who are not here. So I don't agree with you, Daryl. It's not wetter down south, it's wetter out west. I've been there, I've seen your rainforests. A portal for spirits. Yes, Cookie, you guys always make me smile. We have class. Fatima is the only one here who has class, and she's in it right now. Oh, no, that's class is. Okay. <clears throat> Random thought number seven. A different version of you exists in the minds of everyone you know. 
that's kind of profound. Yeah, the weather here has been nice too. It's not it's not spring. It's still Fatima should be supervising. And I would let her supervise, but she's got that damn kale thing going. So I don't know. I don't know if we can let her. I don't know if we can let anyone with kale supervise. So it was nice. We had rain on the weekend and New Jersey had snow. So maybe that jet stream is changing. Maybe, because I'm done with snow. I don't care if we see another flake of snow. Um, why would I taste your kale, Brie? I don't like kale. What do you do to your kale that's different than it tasting like, like grass? Adam is not mean. Oh, Sonia didn't have, okay. So Central Jersey had nothing. We had rain. Bacon kale? Kale, bacon flavored kale? I mean, if I guess if you were to take the kale and dry it out, <clears throat> and crumble it into a dust and sprinkle it over bacon, I might eat kale. But other than that, probably not. Right, bacon, bacon, bacon is good on anything. Random thought number eight. It makes sense that the target audience for fidget spinners, bleh. it makes sense that the target audience for fidget spinners lost interest in them so quickly. Where are fidget spinners now? It completely disappeared. Oh my God. Tan, you got more snow? Twenty-five centimeters of snow, so another almost twelve inches. What is a kale dog, Brie? You have a fidget spinner ring? Those fidget spinners were the hottest thing. They cost a fortune. So is it like a hot dog or is it like a dog that has kale? I'm telling you, I'm going to start doing more cooking on the videos in the trailer just to show that we don't eat hot dogs as much as everyone thinks we do. I mean, we eat hot dogs. There's no doubt about that, but. You draw the line at kale cookie, but you eat beef tongue? No. No. I'm good. No beef tongue. When I, I grew up in the bush and we used to hunt moose, and some of the guys would, they would, they would there was not any part of the moose that got wasted, let's put it that way. So, so Cookie, you're saying Brie gave you a good tongue? Right? Never taste anything that can taste you back. That's a good point, Tanya. Beef tongue. Well, okay. So Brie lives on a farm. So Brie knows what prairie oysters are. Really, Brie? Cookie liked your tongue? Well, I don't eat moose tongue, so I don't know. I, I'm definitely uh, uh, not a, a Rocky Bullwinkle moment for me, Jim. Wow, 
Bree's typing with more than her thumb tonight. Right? Tanya's like, where the heck did you find these people? Okay, and now Bree wants to give Daryl some time. That's okay. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that Daryl's next comment is, is going to be held for review, so if one of the moderators can look at it. No mono anchors are not in this combo. This combo has gone south officially. Jim got his magnificent hair touched by Bree. Yeah, you should come hang out with us, Tanya. This is this is pretty mild. This is pretty mild compared to compared to what was happening last week in Sonia's chat, right, Bree? Yeah. We offered you ten, Daryl, and you said no. Is that when she thanked you? Did Shakira have an album about this? I'm not up on my Shakira trivia. Oh, Bree started to quiver when she touched your, your hair, Jim? Yeah, this is this is pretty mild compared to some of Sonia's chats. Oral fixation. Okay. It was it was a moment for you, Jim, or for Bree? Reed just laughed out her nose. Is that a snot rocket? Mm -hmm. Random thought number nine. What if the earth is like some tribe in South America, like the whole universe knows that we're here, but they've agreed not to contact us until we can figure it out for ourselves? Could be. Could be. Yeah, I just disappeared for a second. I guess my hand is on the mouse, so I guess that's... Uh, I guess it shouldn't be there. At least, at least, it was this picture and not this picture. I think we've all seen enough of that. Or it could be this picture. This one's my favorite picture. I like that picture a lot. Cookie needs convincing that that's not true. Who knows, right? And yet there's very little intelligent life here, so. What the, I'm pushing the buttons. You don't like when I push the buttons? Do you like this button? You, didn't you tell me to push buttons earlier? I, I'm pretty sure earlier in the chat you were telling me to push the buttons. I'm pushing the buttons. Uh, and the last random thought of the evening. And this one actually kind of makes me sad. Somewhere in the world, there's someone with your dream job that hates going to work every day. And then if you think about it, maybe you have somebody's dream job and you hate going to work every day. Uh, I have, uh, uh, well, she's not a student anymore. Tanya knows, Tanya knows my student. Um, and I had a student that I was mentoring through college and had to sign off on, on her papers and everything. And I'm thinking, my God, she's, she's working so hard to do something that I just want to stop doing altogether. But, you know, that's what it is, right? I've also been doing it for 30 years. So I'm, I'm ready for a break. Twerky, worky. 
missed something somewhere. Oh, Mona. Why is Mona twerking at the edge of the water? Where's the edge of the water? Oh, the video is coming soon. Is that going to be your next live, Mona? You may have, Tanya. You, you, some, maybe somebody who doesn't have a job wants your job. I've seen your job. I don't think anybody wants your job. What is happening? I'm so lost in the conversation now. I have no idea what's happening. There's twerking going on. Vacations are getting thrown out. There's smoke on the water. I think I'm just going to move on. Throw your back oit. Focus. Focus on what? How can I focus on this? You're just answering my question on how to communicate. You're going to communicate by by twerking? Yeah, all oh, hell's breaking loose for sure. One is going to be twerking for the wankers. All right. Let's end this nonsense with uh, a little bit of would you rather. So would you rather Brie has sausage fingers or does she have sausage in her fingers? Maybe she's greasy from all the bacon. All right. Would you rather flip a coin for a million dollars or have a hundred thousand dollars guaranteed? I'm hoping it'll be destination on Wednesdays. Personally, I think I would just take the 100,000. Mona would rather flip. Tanya's snorting Pepsi. That's not, you can drown that way, Tanya. You shouldn't be snorting Pepsi. Don't snort the other stuff. Yeah, I've, I've never tried cocaine. I'm not a fan of it at all. I do like the smell of it, though. 100,000 guaranteed. America, not, not that stuff you would give me. American. Oh, yeah. America, where, where the money's all the same color. But it's all worth something. I guess it would really matter if it's a million Canadian or a million American. Maybe that would make a difference. Green paper with dead guys in it. Yeah. Canadian or American. Well, I guess wherever you are, Joe. Yeah, I would take the cash too. Well, I guess, Daryl, if it was 100,000 American, that would be like a million Canadian for us, right? So it'd be the same thing. Plus, if you took the, the million in the States and you flipped a coin, technically, you'd have to give the government half, whereas we don't pay that up here. So Cookie says, if it isn't 10 million, it isn't life changing. Well, Cookie's living in the fast lane because I'll take 100,000. That's, I don't need my life changed. I just need some of it paid off. Yes, the giveaway is now, Mona. You just keep going north until you get to my house. We're going to flip the coin, okay? You know where north is, right? Who's going to tell the government? Not me. It's not my coin. All right. Would you rather drink water for the rest of your life? Drink only drink water for the rest of your life or only eat bread for the rest of your life? 
I think I'm going to go with the water. I like bread, but I don't think I could just eat bread for the rest of my life. Yeah, 100K will last me the rest of my life if I die before my next live next Wednesday. Cookie is in the fast lane. 100K is nothing. I will have that again next year. Bree is reluctantly going with water. Tanya is going with water. Mona's going to take bread. And Jim will also take water. I don't know if I could, I like, I eat bread and I just feel full. I don't think I would like to. No, Duncan was not an option, Sonia. Pay attention. That was, that was not, anybody hear me say Duncan? No, nobody's paying attention. There was no Duncan. Maybe you could take the bread and dunk it in the water. How's that? All right, this one's an easy one for me. <clears throat> never use social media again or never watch another TV show or movie. Uh, I don't think I could live without social media, and I don't even have TV. So I think that's pretty much. Duncan does not count as water. Come on, Bree. It's, it, it, it's one of the options was not sugar. Oh, Mona would get rid of her social media. Wow. Wow. I don't think I could. But, you know, is uh, are we are we going to put YouTube as social media? I guess technically it is. And all I watch I watch YouTube more than anything. We occasionally watch Netflix, but I'm on YouTube all day. Tanya, too, would give up social media. Well, it's going to be awfully lonely on social media with me all by myself. Yeah, if YouTube is social media, then I'm fine with that. That's all I watch. Jim would never watch another TV show. Yeah, all the TV shows suck. It's not like the good old days. We're actually, we're so, um, we can't find anything good on Netflix at all anymore. And we're going to start every year. Gilen and I own, uh, we own all eight seasons of Three's Company. We watch them every year. So that's what we're starting uh, probably next week. Cookie says YouTube is a video sharing platform. Actually, YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world. Right? I can't remember. Tanya, did I even have cable 10 years ago? I don't even think I did then. I've had Netflix for so long, I can remember when it was $7.99 a month. Yeah, Three's Company. Yeah, we had little kids and we got rid of our cable and everybody thought we were crazy. It's like, oh my God, there's nothing on there. It's, it's absolute crap. Come and knock on your door. Yeah, nothing better than Three's Company. My personal opinion, but. All right, would you rather experience the beginning of the earth or the end of the earth? Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean's good, but you have to watch it. And a lot of times, especially with YouTube, um, I've got my earbuds in and it's just on. It'll be on my phone or my iPad. I have a little stand in the kitchen while I'm making lunches or dinner or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I don't always have to watch it. It can just be on. I watched four seasons of uh, House of Cards while I was painting a bedroom. Jim got an email the other day that they were canceling his Netflix. He says, I don't have it, so I told him to go ahead. Keep me up with the appearances. What are the appearances, Mona? He used to be weekly. Mr. Bean? Mr. Bean used to be weekly? The beginning, there's so much more to look forward to. The end, you fill in the blanks to why. 
Any would rather see the beginning. No, it's just very slow. Actually, I, no, you know what? I think it was only the first two seasons. I think that that's when there was only two seasons on uh, on Netflix before he, uh, before uh, Kevin Spacey did what Kevin Spacey did. But anyway. Bree thinks that this is too hard of a question. Bree just wants to be in the middle. Between the, the beginning and the end, not in the middle. Don't even go there, Bree. Oh, Bree's Sig and Three's company, right? English, Mrs. Bouquet. I don't I don't watch a lot of English shows. I actually have a hard time understanding their accent. I'll watch English shows with subtitles on. Um we got I I um I didn't understand anything on Peaky Blinders. I had to I had to keep the uh the captions on the whole time. Oh, out come the baskets. There we go. Oh, hi, Sue. Yeah, on at eight, but I, uh, I was, uh, I was absent all day today, so I wasn't around anybody else's either. Oh yes, Tanya is a big fan of Mrs. Brown's boys. He does the same thing, but with YouTube channels, right? That's that's the best way. Yeah, you you sure walked in at a good time, Sue. Yeah, BBC is a bit much. All right, and our last would you rather for the evening. No soup for you. Yeah, do love my sign, folk. All right, last one for the evening. Would you Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors, or go into the future and meet your great great grandchildren? I think I'd rather meet my great great grandchildren, but that's just me. Uh, I don't know my lineage very well. Um, my last name is kind of spelt funny, and we think it got misspelt a lot of times. So I really don't know much past two generations. So um, on one side, I don't know anything past one generation. So Jim would rather meet his ancestors. So does that mean that uh, Mona's not going to be in your live streams anymore? Now that now that you guys are uh, now that she's unfriended you. Susan wants to meet her ancestors. She's fascinated by the past and their stories. Tanya would rather go to the past. Mona thinks it's a trick question. It's not a trick question, Mona. You either want to go backwards in time or forwards in time. Right? These are all tough questions. That's kind of the point. Anyways, on that note, I think we're going to wrap it up. It is 9 o'clock. I've gotten through all my silly questions. I think I, I kind of like that. So I think we're going to do that again next week. Uh, Cookie would rather see great-great-grandchildren because I do not think my kids will have kids. So if I have grandkids, they are going to be some kind of special. Yeah. See, and this is, uh, I get this a lot from, from my kids too uh, because we have a big family. And a lot of them say that they don't want to have kids because they're used to having all these kids. So we'll see. Is you say back or future elders, back elders? Oh, thanks, Jim. Yeah, if you want to hit the thumb on the way out, that would be fantastic. One or multiple what, Mona? One or multiple grandchildren? 
one or multiple ancestors? Yes, out. O W T out. Not oot, not a boot. Oh, I don't know if you should go back and watch this from the beginning, Sue. You may never come back after you've seen some of this stuff in the chat. But All right, guys, I'm going to start wrapping it up. Sonia, are you going on tomorrow night? Okay, so Sonia's going to be on. You can drop your link if you want, Sonia, too. Uh, I think everybody in here has it, but maybe Tanya doesn't have it. Um, but yeah, a Garden State Paint will be on tomorrow night, about 6.37-ish. And then on Friday, uh, Sonia will be on from 7 to 9. So we will be there for that. And I will be back next Wednesday. I'll have a... Uh, Thanks, Mona. I liked your live this morning too. The uh, that uh, uh, I don't remember was it Al Sanchez, He's a fantastic guitar player. That was that was really good. Um, yeah, Sue will be on Monday morning. Well, I guess Sue uh, Sue and Bob will be on Saturday morning, as well as Monday at six. I'm probably going to drop a few videos this week. Trying to do shorts uh, almost every day and trying to drop a, a shorter videos but more often so uh, keep an eye out for that Bree had a video today so go and see that thanks cookie oh hey madonna i didn't even see where when did you sneak in i didn't even see you come in uh, all right guys the dog is starting to bark yeah, see, Tanya, you got to start hanging out with this crowd because it goes from PG to 13 to, to rated R in very little time around here. I said hi to Madonna? Oh, maybe I did. All right, guys, I'm going to go before the dog starts barking. Thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, I'll be back next Wednesday. We'll see you then. Take care.